with up guys my name is ace and last night we actually got a title update for season two of black ops cold war and with this well it didn't unlock everything for season two that's going to be happening tonight at least in north america we did actually get some early access to various items and features and i wanted to go over all of these today and the first thing i want to mention for you guys because this is quite exciting for those people that have been waiting for the outbreak mode which is that large scale zombie mode that takes place on fire team dirty bomb maps it turns out you can actually access it and play it right now, even though you're not really supposed to. And this is why I'm going to play it safe and not share any gameplay footage, but I have actually gone in and played this for myself. All you have to do for this is play the game in offline mode. So if you're on console, for instance, turn off your internet within the console settings and then boot up the game and go to zombies. And from there, you can select the outbreak mode and you can actually play it, but only in offline mode. So you won't be able to play it with friends or anything like that, but it is really cool to just go in and check it out. It seems like it's gonna be pretty neat. You can also check out that brand new fire team map that they're adding with season two. So yeah, if you guys have been excited for that, make sure you check that out and get sort of a early advanced preview of that mode. Additionally, with this update from last night, we got access to the Death Machine score streak. And with the Death Machine, it only costs 2200 score to earn, so it's actually very easy to earn, especially considering the fact that it works just like the War Machine in that any kills that you get with your Death Machine, they will count as if they're gun kills score-wise. So if you get multiple kills in the same life, you will get that score bonus, unlike all of the other streaks that just give you a standard amount of score for that kill, like 50 score, for instance, per kill. You can chain this together, and also it will contribute toward medals like nuclear streaks, for instance. Now, as for the performance of this, it works basically just like Black Ops 1. There is a little bit of a spin-up time on it when you want to first pull the trigger on it. So you have to be ready for that. You do have to be able to predict enemy flow to use this really effectively. Otherwise, they'll catch you off guard and they'll be able to kill you before you can even start firing. But you can also aim down sight with this, which will pre-wind it up and get it ready to start firing. So you can just pull that trigger and it will start firing almost immediately. There's not too much else to say about this. It works exactly how we would all expect it to work for anybody that's played Black Ops 1. And my initial impression is this is extremely powerful considering the score value to earn it. One big benefit that you have over the War Machine with this as well is it ignores flak jacket. So no matter what, you're just going to be putting people down pretty much instantly once that minigun starts firing. Now, moving on to the next thing that happened with this update, they actually altered Moscow a little bit. They changed the map up, and essentially they just cut off certain areas in the spawn area. So for this spawn, for instance, you used to be able to go right in behind where that statue is and sort of hang out there, and it was just kind of a weird dead space, and sometimes you get that weird camper that would just hang back there, which is so strange because it's not a significant area of the map. It's not like you're holding any map control or anything there. It was basically just a hiding spot. And then on the other side of the map, they also cut off this huge area here. You used to be able to go all around that statue area there, and you can no longer do that. And I think this is overall a positive change for regular modes, like regular team-based modes. However, the one mode that I think this maybe hurts a little bit is Prop Hunt. It was nice to have those extra areas to play around in for Prop Hunt. But at the end of the day, I think this is a good change because Prop Hunt is like a weird side mode and the game really shouldn't be catered around Prop Hunt. I, I think this was definitely a good change for a regular 6v6 multiplayer. Next up, something they added in the combat record, and this is quite interesting. If you go over the weapons, you can now see different multipliers for the body. Before, you had to basically come to my videos if you wanted to find out what the headshot multiplier was, or with the sniper rifles, for instance, the upper torso, lower torso, upper arm multipliers. And they've actually added these into the combat record itself, so you can check those exact values for yourself. And that's really nice to have that feature. As much as I love the fact that you did have to come to my videos before this patch in order to get that information, it does make sense for it to be displayed there, and I'm all for this. And with that, the last thing I wanted to mention that we have access to from this update that we downloaded last night, but also before Season 2 officially launches, is they changed up the menu look. So the background in the menu where you can see your character walking through the jungle now, this is a brand new style. And a really cool thing about this is if you sit in this menu for 45 seconds without touching anything, so without changing menus or anything like that, the menus will actually fade away and you'll get a beautiful full screen version of your character walking through the jungle. And this just looks so cool. This is going to help for content creators out there. If you want to get that really nice, clean thumbnail image, for instance, you can use this. And I love that they added this feature in and I really hope that it sticks around. So, so far, this is kind of nice to see. Like we haven't even officially reached season two and we've got some cool new features and a couple changes that they've made here. And there's still a lot more to come once season two officially launches tonight. 
Now, one last thing I want to mention, though, is it apparently isn't all positive. I've been seeing a ton of reports of massive frame rate issues on consoles, specifically on PlayStation. It seems like people are having crazy frame rate issues. I personally haven't experienced it yet, but I do know that a lot of people have been experiencing this. It has kind of blown up all over Reddit, so I really hope this is something they can get on top of and fix very quickly, maybe even when Season 2 launches tonight. I don't know for sure, but it does sound like it is a very big issue. But with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this pre-season 2 update that we got? What do you guys think about the death machine so far? And if you guys have hopped in offline to play that new zombies mode, what are you guys thinking about it so far? Do you like how it plays or not so much? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.